Hi there, neighbors. It's me, your friendly neighborhood artist. I wanted to talk about art direction. I am a very aesthetic person. I love when aesthetics match. And I'm also very picky on things like colors and ideas and stuff that I feel looks good to me. And I notice when it, when something is wrong and someone's shoehorning things. I wanted to talk about the Little Mermaid movie. Now, I watched it uh, like a few weeks ago. And I have things and, and opinions about that movie. So we're gonna talk about those opinions and those things. First, we're gonna talk about the art direction. I'm a person of color, I can talk about this. I don't care that they wanted to cast a Black Little Mermaid, but what I do care about is that it doesn't fit the scenes. It doesn't fit. That's the problem is it doesn't fit because they still wanted to have the story look like it takes place in Denmark, but they didn't want it to look too Denmark during the parts where it was supposed to like be about her because they just wanted to make sure you knew that, you know, because she's a person of color, you have to insert why she would be there, right? So you'd have to insert stuff that looks like Caribbean, which was what I was talking about the whole time because I was like, because they didn't show much of the movie prior to be being released, I thought, you know what? They're probably going to do like a whole Caribbean, you know, thing where it's going to be like really warm. It's going to be really tropical. It's going to be really beautiful. But that's not what they did. They meshed it. They meshed the Denmark look and then they meshed the Caribbean look. So it would make sense to have a person of color main character. And when they showed the scenes where they're in the Caribbean area, like below the castle, it just, man, it just looks freaking weird to me. It just looks weird and forced. And it's like, you have this, like the thing is, is you have this like whole white aesthetic, right? This, this white castle and this beautiful insides. And then suddenly it's like Caribbean and bold, bright colors. And I know that they were like going for like that on the white backdrop, which it was fun to look at, but it didn't, it wasn't aesthetic. It was weird because I know why they were doing it so it made sense. I wanted to talk about what I would have done. I think that with what they wanted to do, the thing is, is The Little Mermaid is traditionally a Denmark uh, fairy tale. It has her ha being pale faced. I literally don't care what anyone else wants to complain about. You can complain all you want, but in the original manuscript, it does say she's pale. It doesn't matter that her hair is red. It, it's okay if Disney wanted to change it. They still could have called it the Little Mermaid. They still could have called her Ariel. They literally could have called him like Enrique, right? I feel that what would have been better for me, which I think would have been well accepted, the people who were interested in seeing, you know, the, like for kids that were interested in seeing themselves on screen for, you know, little black girls that wanted like, you know, you know, a, a black mermaid, right? What would have been better is if they made the entire story based in the Caribbean. They should have just used Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is beautiful. It's beautiful. It would have been easy. They could have just, you know, he didn't need to, even if he was a prince, they could have, they could have changed things. He didn't even need to be a prince, right? He could have been some Spaniard living there. It, it, I mean, it still could have worked out. He still could have been pale. It could have taken place during like a rough time in history. And he still could have been a prince. I would have more than accepted that because I don't know if you guys know, but Puerto Rico, you know, the, the mix on Puerto Rico is Spaniard, Tiano Indian, and, um, and black. That's the mix. You could have easily done that in Puerto Rico. You could have had all those tropical nuances and the, the warm breeze and the open ocean. And you could have had literally all of those things, but you just didn't want to because you wanted to keep that part of the little mermaid. That's the little mermaid in there. And it shows throughout the rest of the art direction of the character designs, because the character designs make no sense. Triton, I, like people are like complaining about just the, just Ariel's look. It's not even just her. It's Triton. I feel like nobody freaking looked at him. Did anyone even look at him? What is he wearing? 
what is that outfit? What are those, what is that armor about? Why did he even need to wear that? He looks like a floating metal piece of armor. Like his head feels like it's not connected to the rest of his body. Like it's just, it's a, it's a bad look, man. They should have just had him be bare chested because he's bare chested in the original. They should have, they should have just left him bare chested. They already casted a Latino guy. Let's talk about Sebastian and Flounder. Those are some of the ugliest characters I've ever seen. They're the ugliest, the ugliest. And you say they're not ugly, they're nightmare fuel. There is not a child, uh, I'm so sorry. Children who went in there, they didn't come out going, I want a flounder stuffed animal. I want, I want a Sebastian stuffed animal. They said, no mommy, don't give me those. They said, mommy, get me an Ariel doll. That's what I want. Give me an Eric doll. And the other, the other sisters, it didn't even make sense. They all have this, like, the thing is, is they wanted to, like, oh my goodness. They needed more lore to explain all of the things that made no sense in the movie. Like, let's talk about her sisters. All of her sisters were different and all of them were racially different. And all of them looked very, very, very different, right? I couldn't buy that she had all those different sisters and they even gave them different names. They didn't even have their original names. So they clearly wanted to go in a unique direction with the Little Mermaid. But I felt like they were afraid to do it because they didn't want to alienate the people who really loved the original. And it's like, all right, you wanted to do something new, something different but this is what you did, it, it looks terrible. I would have preferred if they would have just done their own thing, had it set in Puerto Rico, and, and boom, you would have had literally everything you needed. And I really hated her hair. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with it being um, like braids or dreads or whatever, whatever style it was. It's not, it's not about the style, it's about the color. The color is aesthetically ugly with that girl. It's just, it just is. It's just, it's almost like it's the same color as her skin. And I feel like they tried to go with like the, all the iconic stuff, but it, it just made bad color theory. Like the blue dress that's supposed to be like Ariel's dress that she wears for most of the period of time, like in the movie, that dress looked terrible on her. It looked terrible terrible why would they put her in that and then they had her wearing heels ariel wasn't wearing heels she wore these like little strappies i don't understand like like it just it it's like little details like like i'm i'm okay with hand waving too but if you're going to hand wave then you're gonna have to make it make sense it doesn't make sense that a girl that's never ever in the history of neverary like put on a pair of shoes her first pair of shoes are going to be freaking heels and not tiny heels or kitten heels, like actual heels. Like she should have just worn flats. I don't know why they didn't want her to wear flats. I think they were just trying to go with the, uh, the weird aesthetic of the rest of the movie that they've decided, whatever that is. It's just, it just, it just gives that they just didn't care about the movie to me that they thought, well, we're gonna put in enough little sprinkles so that the people who are not satisfied with having a black area will be satisfied. And just enough for people who want to see POC Ariel to be happy. But the thing is, is you got to do it right, man. You got to do it right. It's the same thing with gay characters. You can't just shoehorn it in. You got to do them right. Like, I don't know. I know I'm like going on and on and on about this video and I'm just like basically bitching, but it matters to me. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to redesign Ariel like my way, like what I would have done with her. Like I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'm going to design her the way I wanted to. Because the thing is, is she could be totally beautiful, but someone was an idiot on that art director table. Someone was like, someone didn't care. And I care. I care. I don't know if you guys would be looking forward to that, but I'm going to look forward to it. What did you guys think? I know a lot of people saw that movie. I want to know what people thought of it. Like, I, I, I can't be the only one who thought 
that the art direction was terrible. I can't. I can't be. There had to be someone that was like, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. But anyway, and I'm going to make another video about the Snow White movie because I'm just going to make one about the art direction in that because I feel that that needs to be assessed too because that's a hot mess. Later days, friends. See you next time.